Go. Ready? Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm Tanisha, one of the educators here at Mount Sinai Morningside. And today I bring to you, we're going to do a video of myself and another educator named Jonna. We both met search educators, and what we're going to do is show you a video on how to set up uh, NG2. Um, and the suction, the way that it's, you set up a suction canister with the NG2. So you're going to make sure, whenever you are ensuring that you have adequate suction, you wanna make sure you have this right here, it's the vacuum. The vacuum is very important. Without that, you won't be able to apply suction. You can suction, um, the person who have an NG2 to um, decompress, different methods you need, you might need, depending on what you're trying to do. So you have your canister right here. I have the canister, making sure that the canister is here, and I'm gonna go step by step. You have the vacuum, you have the patient, you have ortho. So this is very important to know. This goes to the vacuum, this goes to the patient, and this was the ortho patient and they needed to actually, um, to suction secretions, this would go right here, and that would be the tube for here. So understanding the mechanism and what's on the canister. For the vacuum, you're going, you're going to need this. It's, you find all of these products right here and right here. You can find this, except the regulator, because it's called the regulator, I'm sorry. You can find um, these equipment inside of the queen utility room. You're going to hook this right here. This right here, I'm short, so this goes to the vacuum. And you have to keep in mind, this right here goes to the patient, but I want to test it, yes. Huh? This one right here? No, right here. Okay, you see me? Sorry. Thank you. This right here goes to the patient. You see me turning and twisting. One moment. See the difference? I'm turning it on. It's regular, to regular, off, and intimate. So you see this? And that's how you know it. You have different um, levels here. You have low suction, medium, high, or max. Most of the time, it'd be low suction. So this right here, I took this off, so that's why. So this goes right here for the patient. Remember of the settings. Then I have the NG2, okay? When the patient comes upstairs, the doctor is gonna place the NG2 in the patient, uh, whether it's downstairs, whether it's pre-op, they can do it at the bedside, depending on where they put the NG2. So, when it comes to the NG2, you see this part right here? So, I'm testing it to make sure that it's not easily to come out. Right here, this part right here is going to be on the patient. And if they need to add air, they would just remove this to add air. You hear this? So you hear this? And that's the only, this is how we actually able to put the NG tube to suction. Any questions? Now, when you change it, I want also to let you know, when you are changing an NG tube, you will put this off. You want to have everything together. You, if you don't have any backup uh, canisters, because say if we on shortage of canisters, when you see this get halfway full, you want to change it. You also want to document this on intake and output as well. If it is clogged, you also will have a, a bulb syringe and be able to irrigate it to see why is it uh, occlusion or anything. You want to keep the, the secretions Patent. And if it's not suctioned adequately, you want to go here. Maybe you need to turn it up a little bit. And if it's too much, then you have to call a doctor and let them know. You also want to think in terms of this shouldn't be filled up at every shift like that. You want to think in terms this patient can be dehydrated. So thank you guys for watching myself, Tanisha, and Jonna recording the video. If you have any questions, reach out to your educator. Have a good day. Bye.